Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Doodle Robot and today I'm going to do a flip through of Keep Calm and Color Tranquil Trees. This is by, hopefully you can see that, Marsha Zotino. If I'm saying that right, I'm not sure. I apologize if I'm not. I was looking through this earlier when I was breaking the spine. Um, this is actually a Dover book. I didn't I didn't realize till I got to the last page here that this was a Dover book. So it's got a shiny cover and probably hopefully it's that awesome Dover paper that I like so much. I like the Creative Haven paper. Um, it's I feel like my Prismacolors just kind of glide on. Although I have noticed that in my Creative Haven paper, the Prismacolors go on just a smidge lighter than on other papers. So you have to keep that in mind. We have the title page. And then it looks like there's a little blurb here. And they're just getting into it. This is an older book, copyright 2015. It's double-sided. One thing that I did notice about this book uh, as I was breaking the spine... It's like there's a lot of double page pictures, but they don't they don't meet. <laughs> I mean, on the one hand, you're not you're not coloring into the ditch, but on the other hand, they don't meet. So I don't know. That is a little weird about this book. I think most other ones will go right into the spine, and I know I don't like coloring into the spine either. It's a little inconvenient, but I don't like when they don't quite match up. Like I'll have to continue to draw those lines or something. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with that exactly. Anyways, just something I thought I would point out. And Dover being a big publishing company, I think they could have, I think they could have handled that a little bit better. It's still a great book. I love the trees in this book. I love the abstract nature of the trees. And they're very inventive with their trees. I've, I have several tree books in my collection. Um, I got to say, this one is one of the more inventive ones. Which I appreciate. I'm noticing, too, that this has very dark lines for, if I don't know, some people may be bothered by that. It doesn't bother me, but I think I'd actually prefer a darker line than a lighter line. I'm not really sure. I generally just take it as it comes, but some people may have a preference. They've drawn on a lot of different inspirations for these pictures. Some are very design-based, some are culture-based. Some may just come out of their own imagination, or her own imagination, I should say. This one's just all made of fruit. That's great. Oh. I love this one that the looks like hair here, like afro hair with flowers in it. Oh, this is a good picture. I really like this picture. Wow, yeah, I really like that picture. Okay, that might be the first picture I do. Good use of movement in their lines there. I don't personally care for this page. I'm not one who likes, I don't mind a wallpaper page sometimes, but usually I just do something with it. But when you have like stuff just stuck there, I don't know, that bothers me. I know a lot of people use that sort of page for testing their materials. That's a good idea to do with that sort of page. I have yet to do that. I probably should, but 
I think if I finish a book, those would be the last pages in the book I would do. Did we already see this picture? We did. It looks like, and did we see this picture before? It looks like we've got the same picture probably with the different spring, summer, winter, fall kind of thing. Would be my guess is what they did. This one's interesting. The tree lovers, I guess. Oh, a butterfly tree. This one could almost be a money tree. That almost looks like little dollar bills. Wow, that could be interesting. If you could figure out an interesting way to color that, that would be that would be an interesting challenge. Yep, there's that same picture again. This must be fall. We must have started with spring, then winter, then fall. Or it must have been summer, winter, fall. Okay, I don't know if it's in any order or just stuck in there. This one's very interesting. A mandala with the tree of life in the center, I guess. And there's that same picture again. This one is very nice. Another lady. I love the clothes. <laughs> she does the tree people very creatively. Good sense of movement here. Really good. That could be done very interestingly as well, I would think. Oh, nice. Very clever use of trees and no wasted space in this book. you got coloring pages from beginning to end. All right, this is a Dover book and that is Keep Calm and Color tranquil trees. So I thank you for joining me. I appreciate your time. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Live long and prosper. Bye-bye.